thanks for coming back. I wanted to make a video just quickly um, showing you how to separate your dreadlocks. This will help you in the beginning when you're developing your dreadlocks as well as along the way. This is the one maintenance step that you will have to do for your dreadlocks. It should take you no more than 20 seconds to do your whole head. So um, just quickly, I have uh, skipped this step the last three or four times so that I could show it to you. And then um, my computer restarted itself. So some of these I've already done. So all you're going to do is just simply pull them apart just like this. And this keeps your hair from developing into one large mat. Because a dreadlock is essentially a knot that doesn't go away. So <clears throat> by doing that, I'm going to give my hair a fuller look as well as keep my uh, dreadlocks at the size that they are. So I don't know if you can see all that. Um, another reason... Um, to be mindful when you separate it, sometimes if you have a dreadlock that doesn't have a very strong base, you can let the two merge together and it'll be a stronger dreadlock. And um, when it grows out, it'll probably be split at the end. And now I've got some of those to show you. Like this. Yeah. So at some point along the way, um, these two dreadlocks, when they were quite young, merged together into one big, strong dreadlock. So, it is good to have some variation, in my opinion. Um, also, another benefit to separating versus twisting is that your hair will have some layers. Um, let me see if I do that. That helps. No, that doesn't help much. Anywho, but you can kind of see that my hair is layered, so it's not just all one length. There you go. You can kind of see now. So, this gives it also a more unique look. So, um, some of you were asking about style and styling tips, and I'll just kind of quickly show you some of the things that I do, just kind of you know, for different scenarios. So, all I'm doing is kind of tucking this in, but I'm grabbing two pieces of hair, two chunks of hair. I'm just going to do that. going to twist, put it in there, pull it through. This is a quick look for just pulling my hair out of my face. And then if I want to make it more elegant, I just simply lift it up and tuck it in like that and then I can hide anything extra by just simply tucking it in <coughs> shut this door so that help there you go okay so you can leave some strands loose if you'd like um, and I know in the beginning your hair is going to be like an afro and there's not going to be a whole lot that you can do. But you can, I used a lot of little headbands, um, barrettes, I don't know. You, you can get creative and share it with this. So those are some of the things I do. I also, uh, you can do two pigtails. So easy. Just tie your hair together. Same thing I did, but on a small scale. I like those. And then the same thing. You can do that. You can say you can tuck them tuck these little curly keys and all I did was just simply double tuck like that just kind of hide it hide it any way you can if you want I kind of like leaving them sticking out there okay so you can also take this pull it all to one side for 
Also a nice work, elegant, I'm safe kind of look. There are some styles there. Um, you can also tuck that in for a side elegant look. Um, you can use some sort of rubber band. I wouldn't use a rubber band, but some sort of nice soft rubber band to put your hair up, you know, in a nice little bouffant type ponytail thing. Got to tuck in your rebels like that. But anyway, for the most part, this is what I do with my hair. Some of you are asking about style. So I hope this further sells you on dreadlocks. And another little bonus I wanted to talk about is when your hair is forming your little afro your afro is going to bead off in the little beads like that and this is the beginning of a dreadlock this is probably going to be another little tiny one like these because that's what that's what grows there so you can see the little beads here it's quite loose this is all spongy loose hair and then right there, there's the ball. That's going to be the beginning of a dreadlock. So I hope that also further illuminates. Where is that thing? There it is. So what will happen? So you can see here, this is the ball. But the dreadlock is already formed in this one. So, hey, stop. <sighs> it's my dog and cat fighting. Probably wanting to eat. So anyway. Lots to do. I hope this helps you out, and I hope you, you know, will grow some dreadlocks. All right. Thank you very much for coming back, and thank you to all my new subscribers. So I'll turn this thing off. Here we go.